Hi guys and welcome to BC402, the B-flat major scale over two octaves. This contains um, the note B-flat starting at the very bottom of the instrument, so it's quite an awkward lesson, follows on nicely from BC401 which was on um, the note B-flat really low. Also we've got the new note in here as well, the note E-flat, and you're going to need that for the song that's coming up in the next lesson video. Okay, so on we go, here we go. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is put that B, that low B flat that we talked about in the last lesson, to good use now. Um, so I'm going to start with a closed tube. I've got all my um, my little thing, both of my little fingers down. This little finger again, as discussed in the last lesson, is covering this bottom key on the pad, the very bottom, and it should close these two keys here. Can you see this? If you're pressing the B flat key correctly, it should close both of those pads as we discussed before. Both of those pads should be closed. So make sure you're pressing it down hard enough so that definitely actually closes the whole tube. That'll stop any other problems happening. So we've got a nice open throat and B flat. Now what we don't want to be doing is that honky sound that we talked about before. No honks. It takes quite a long time and quite a lot of effort to get that note singing out quite quietly. It sounds like a bit of a foghorn at first. Kind of accept it, but over the course of time just start to improve it. Okay, so B flat major has B flat and new note E flat. So that's all six buttons, tube is closed, and this bottom pad here. Not the bottom C, there's bottom C, E flat, so that top chord there. Top chord, top was key. So I've got B flats and E flats. So I'm going to walk up alphabetically. B flat, C, low C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Now I'm going to carry on. C, D with the active key, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Notice that through this, again, and I do this an awful lot, I'm in B flat and my first finger is covering the bis B flat key already. I'm playing low B flat, but look where my first finger is. It's covering that bis B flat key. Very important, guys. Remember that. Anytime you're playing with flats, you may as well get your bis B flat key down unless you're playing Bs. All right, so the scale sounds something like this. So again, I'm going for really small finger movements. I'm going to be quite pedantic about this. I want my fingers to be really moving very, very precisely, very steadily. And I can play this as slowly as I need to in order to get my fingers moving exactly to where I want them and not a little bit more. I'm trying to do at this stage, now we're a little bit more advanced in the course, I'm wanting to lift my key up as much as I need to in order to um, make sure that the key is no longer pressed down. But I'm still keeping in contact with the key, so when I'm playing um, F here, I'm lifting the F key up just as far as I need to to lift the key up the whole way. Like that, it's quite a good thing to do. Okay, so if you're finding that low B flat a real pain at the moment, this B flat scale, what I want you to do is start it from normal bis B flat without the octave key and go B flat C, D with the octave key and walk up from there instead. So a slightly easier version is. But I'm really getting used to this E flat fingering as well. So I've got two new notes, haven't I? That E flat, top key. And then back down again. So I've got two options. I can either do the whole thing over two octaves, going right up to the top, making sure my finger movement's really slow, and then coming back down. Or I can do a sort of um, a diet version, which is just one over one octave from bis B flat there. It's a really important scale, this guys. Get used to playing B flats. Get used to playing E flats. Um, I'm going to discuss the arpeggio of both of um, B flat major at a later date. At the moment, I think it's more than enough just to start walking down to that low B flat without jumping to it. So we'll do the arpeggio later on. All right, guys, and I'll catch you in the next lesson where we're going to learn how to play a song using these two notes. All right, guys, catch you next time. Bye.